Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks and as you can see I put the clock here to show it is actually 10 minutes to 7 in the morning on a Saturday the, let me check the date, Saturday the 11th of January, okay, it's 10 to 7. The reason why I'm so early, actually I'll tell you about that in a moment while I'm doing this, what I'm going to be making for breakfast is a can of big, Heinz Big Soup, this one's chicken and vegetable, the, uh, I, I, I like this and the beef, you know, they've got like Angus beef and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll splash a little bit of the soup in the head. Yeah, I'm going to be having this with some uh, Co-op's own brand white baton, which is like a, like a baguette. Let me show you. There we go. Right, I'm just going to just empty this into the pan. I should have put the heat on actually. Let's see. Uh, put it on nine for the time being. Okay, I'm going to be eating it with this bat on there. 55 pence. Uh, the date is up to date. Well, I bought it yesterday and it's got today's date on it, so it's pretty soft and, uh, you know. So I'm going to cut this in half, going to butter it. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something just to liven it up a bit. I'm going to be adding some cheese onto the bread and then using the bread as sort of a scoop, you know, so the, the hot soup will melt the bread. That's the plan. Anyway, the reason why I'm up this early is because I'm going to Iceland, and I have to, the guy in the shop told me yesterday that I have to get here pretty much close to opening time, which is about eight o'clock, he says, in order for me to get all my frozen stuff from Iceland, and then what they'll do, they'll deliver it. Because if you order 25 quid's worth, they'll deliver it for free. Which is handy. So I don't have to drag it all on the bus. Alright, so, but the thing is, I've got to get there early in the morning. So they'll put it on today's delivery uh, truck. And um, anyway, yeah, because I bought a new fridge freezer. Uh, not fridge freezer, a uh, new freezer yesterday. So the idea is that, because um, I've, got, I've got, a, I've got a fridge freezer. Which, you know, as you probably know, it's got bugger all room in there, in a fridge freezer for the frozen stuff. Uh, but I, I've, got a, I've got a small chest freezer, which I've been using. You, you, you know, you, you get an amount in there, but it's easy to fill. And once it is filled, then it's held trying to... That's what the problem I've been having recently. I've been trying to clear out the freezer in the last bunch of videos. Trying to get rid of all the old stuff, because new stuff just gets piled on the top. So uh, I bought another one. Very similar to it, but a hundred and twenty nine pound from Curry's. And you know, they wanted thirty quid to deliver it for Christ's sake. So, you know what? If you're ever if you're ever going to a free into a place to buy a freezer or a washing machine like that, say from Curry's, and they want to charge you thirty quid to deliver it. Instead of doing that, I mean, I, I had a friend with a, a Jeep, sort of a Land Rover type thing, he put it in there, but if he wasn't able to make it, I had the idea of phoning up a taxi. See, instead of 30 quid to get the thing delivered, phone a taxi, tell them it needs to be a, you know, a, 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 you know one with a bit of boot room, you know, like a um, saloon type, and it'll cost you like a third of the price. You know, in my case, it cost less than a tenner to get it from where it was to my house. You know, so I mean, there's money saved right there. Don't give them 30 quid to deliver the bastard, you know. Anyway, let me just go. I'm got to remember what I was talking about. That's it. So I bought a fridge. I bought another chest freezer, which, you know, if anybody's interested, I might show them. But the, the plan is I'm going to have all the vegetables, frozen vegetables, and uh, basically veg, right? So vegetables, carrots, peas, potatoes, all that lot, maybe some frozen bread, all in one freezer. And then all meat products in the other freezer. So that way I don't have to dig down. Uh, right, I've got a bit of meat on the top and all the veg is piled at the bottom, you know, and you've got to dig it out. No, th this way, meat and veg in different freezers. So it's easy as, uh, it's gonna be easy to get a hold of. And that'll make my life easier. Uh, Anyway, so that's the plan. So I'm going to go up the city centre. I bought it yesterday. It's been on frozen. It's been on frozen for the last sort of, um, you know, a 
18 hours or so. So I'm going to go. I need to go in and uh, leave in about half an hour to um, pick up the all of my food. All right. Well, that's enough waffling on. But that, that's my plan. And if anybody uh, wants to see what I've done with a new my new setup, you know, let me know, and I'll you know, if there's any interest in it, I might make a video of it. You know. Anyway, all right. I've got. Uh, oh, that's, that's interesting. I've got a new. I've got a, a brand new packet of cheese in the fridge. But I'm going to be using the last four slices on this uh, breakfast. Okay, so what I'm doing here is, uh, as you can see, basically just putting, ripping the bit of cheese in half. So the idea is, you go and you put some, you get a spoon, you, you put some, uh, you know, and you just scoop it up, and you get a mouthful of cheese, as well as. Uh, bread and all that lot. Anyway, if I put that, I'll put that there, hopefully. Yeah, it's because my screensavers haven't been particularly great recently. What I'm doing is, you know, t t trying to fix the camera or the scene on a certain, certain subject, hoping that'll be screensaver, it turns out to be rubbish, so maybe this'll be it. There you have it, the soup is done. Now the trick is now, it's either go in there and dig the soup out, or you take a spoon, put a bit of soup on your uh, <laughs> on your bread here. There you go, and then uh, and you're ready to eat. Hmm. Oh wow! I've never done this with cheese before. I've done this plenty of times with the, uh, you know, the bread. The cheese doesn't have quite enough time to melt, but it's, uh, you know, it's quite interesting. It's still good. Adds a bit of nutrients and calories and flavour. I mean, if you really want to do, you can put this under the grill slightly to melt the cheese, then put your uh, soup on it. I mean, this will only work, I think, with chunky soups. Not like, uh, you know, like regular soup, but this is Heinz Big Soup. Yeah. Makes a change. There you go, a nice bit of potato there. So anyway, if you fancy something different for breakfast, you know, like, like I mentioned in another video, I, I rarely eat cereal. I, I have a box of wheat mix up here, which I, you know, shop brand, of course, co-op brand. But uh, I, I rarely eat cereal. I, you know, if I'm going to eat breakfast, it's going to be something like this. Something uh, filling and wholesome. Anyway. When you get to the end, you can just dip it in your uh, soup. Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't suggest doing this with a block of cheese. Well, I don't know, maybe. What do I know? But I, I, I like um, this processed cheese. Anyway, that's that. That's the uh, French bread with a big soup. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna come over here. I'll put a, the, the usual couple of links over there. Perhaps if you want to check them out, that'd be great. Um, if you subscribe, or if you've already subscribed, check the bell icon. Make sure that's up to date. Click the thing so it'll be alerted to all new videos. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>